Hello everyone, the Nerd Medic here and you are watching Animated Biology with Arpan. In this video, we will learn about the ultrasonography, popularly known as the USG. So this is a technique which uses high energy sound waves to visualize tissues and organs inside the body. Now ultrasonography is a non-invasive method of imaging soft tissue in real time. Now it uses ultrasonic waves, that means sound waves which lie in the frequency range far beyond our hearing capacity and is measured using unit known as megahertz. Now how ultrasonography works? Now ultrasonography is consisting of an ultrasound machine console like this and ultrasound probes. Now these ultrasound probes contain piezoelectric crystals. These crystals when supplied with electricity can generate mechanical vibration and can produce sound waves. On the other hand, when mechanical vibrations or sound waves come to this electricity piezoelectric crystals, they again produce electrical patterns. Now when this probe is put over a body surface and supplied with electricity, the piezoelectric crystals generate sound wave. This sound wave gets reflected back to this probe, the piezoelectric crystals sense this mechanical vibration and produce electrical pattern. Now ultrasound works due to the reflection of a beam at the boundary between two materials of different densities because in human body different tissue have different densities. Now this electrical pattern that is generated by the piezoelectric crystals present in the probe in response to the mechanical vibration received back as a reflection from the tissues is analyzed by the software in a computer and an image is produced. Now this image is known as the ultrasonograph. Now the reflected wave is recorded and analyzed for its intensity that gives the amplitude and recovery time which tells about the depth of different tissue and tissue layers and gives an idea about the location of the tissue. Now this allows us to assess the size, shape and structure of the organs and tissues. Now a gel is applied during USG and this is because small air bubbles can be still present between the probe surface and the body surface which can give rise to distortions in the image known as artifacts. Now there are different sort of probes used in USG such as the curvilinear probe, linear probe or phased array probe. Different probes have different applications. Now let us understand how we interpret USG images. Now when we put a probe on the body surface, the part of the image near to the probe appears narrower and the part away from the probe appears wider. Now solid tissue such as bone will appear white or hyperequic because the outer surface reflects more sound wave or ultrasonic wave whereas the tissue that are filled with liquid such as amniotic fluid in the uterus will appear dark or hypoequic. Now ultrasonography imaging does not work well for gas. So organs that are filled with air like the lungs are generally not examined with ultrasound. There is a popular saying that goes in medical schools that air is the enemy of ultrasound and fluid is friend. And remember ultrasonography does not use any radiation so you don't have a risk of getting radiated. Now ultrasonography is done in most women during their pregnancy. This imaging technique is useful to detect developmental de defects. For example, ultrasonography is used to detect neural tip defects such as spina bifida during your pregnancy. Or transvaginal ultrasounds can be used to examine vagina, uterus, fallopian tubes, ovaries and the urinary bladder and is very routinely done by gynecologists. Other ultrasounds like Doppler ultrasound is used to look for vascular diseases like varicose veins and this uses the principle of Doppler effect in this ultrasound technique and by using Doppler effect they try to image the velocity and direction of flow of blood through the blood vessels. Again another type of imaging that uses ultrasound is known as elastography which uses different colors and represents the consistency of a particular tissue as seen in this image. Now ultrasonography can be used 
to image eye and can detect different conditions of the eyeball. Now this image shows a normal eye USG and I believe you can make out the normal contour of the eye. So this is more or less the idea about ultrasonography or USG. If you have enjoyed this video, please do hit the like button, share this video among your friends and peers and do subscribe to the channel. To get high quality notes and flashcard, follow the Facebook page and Instagram of Animated Biology with Arpan. The link will be in the description box. Also, we need your support to make high quality content on this channel. So support us on Patreon or also you can use the super thanks button in the bottom right corner of the video and can contribute using Paytm, Paypal or UPI. Again, if you wish to connect with Urban Paricha of Animated Biologies with Urban, the links will be given in the description box. And for medicine related content, you can subscribe to my channel, The Nerd Medic on YouTube. Also, if you want to get in touch, you can connect me via WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook or email. The IDs are given on the screen. Until then, bye bye. See you in the next video.